play Sharon Carter, Agent 13 in Captain America Civil War. And I'm Elizabeth Olsen, and I play Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch. Marvel, the National Academy of Sciences, Dolby Laboratories, Broadcom, and Synchrony Bank are challenging girls nationwide to develop innovative STEM-based projects. I'm really excited for these exceptional young women who have STEM backgrounds and who maybe want to be part of a creative and science-based world, and Marvel's the perfect place for that. A huge congratulations to the five finalists. I'm Holly Reaping. I am from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I am in the 11th grade. My name is Janie Kim. I'm from San Diego, California, and I'm currently a junior. My name is Maya Dua, I am from West Sacramento, California, and I am in grade 10. My name is Vivian, I am from Marlboro, New Jersey, and I am in 12th grade. Well, my name is Margaret Fleck, I am in 11th grade, and I am from Emmaus, Pennsylvania. Presenting was fun, but a little bit nerve-wracking. I built a hybrid solar thermal collector that can greatly reduce the amount of energy that we put into space heating and water heating. I wanted to do something involving my skill set, and my skill set is computers. My project is a network of inexpensive mobile computers that are all run on renewable energy. As you can see, I have three ultrasonic sensors in the front. If ultrasonic senses something, it beeps. My project is a seeing eye bot and it was built and designed to replace the average guide dog that is used by the visually impaired. My project is developing a low cost method of disinfecting hospital rooms. Every time a sound increases by three decibels, the recommended listening time is cut in half. I created a computer program that controls your headphone volume level so that you don't damage your hearing. It was so inspiring to see these girls. They are driven by some of the world's biggest problems. It gives you great hope for the future. So today we're going to go on a studio tour. Disney Studios, a place where the magic happens. <laughs> I've loved Disney for a long time and being able to see all the history was incredible. <laughs> we are about to go into Dolby Laboratories and I'm very excited. <laughs> showed us their new technology. It's so cool. We also played around with VR headsets and I'd never done that before. All of a sudden I was on a mountaintop. It felt like you could reach out and you were in the snow. My primary job is to do subjective experiments. These are our laser banks. You'll be able to see the precision of placement of sound in the room. Wide color gamut achievable by the lasers from our projector. I learned how all these great women in STEM use what they've learned in school and throughout life to make their careers awesome. Meeting the other four girls was actually really awesome because they are all such nice people. They're all great. It's so nice for all of us to be together with the same interests. We've become really great friends actually. <laughs> Tonight, the finalists have an opportunity to meet with female executives who utilize science, technology, engineering, and math throughout the Walt Disney Company and Marvel. It was really amazing that all of these female executives had an opportunity to share their advice, share their experiences, and really open themselves up to answer different questions from the finalists. Every time you turn around, the technology changes. So I have never been around so many accomplished women at one time. I got to meet so many incredible women who are so passionate about their careers, about STEM. That was the coolest thing that ever happened to me. I don't think I would have ever had the opportunity to meet these women. We are at the world premiere of Captain America Civil War. Girls are forming the future. We got here because of science. All of my junior engineers. <laughs> nerd power, nerd power, yes! Hi. Have you ever seen anything quite like this before? Paul Rudd, it was Paul Rudd. I am so excited to meet you ladies. Congratulations on winning. Excelsior. Yeah. I'm Anthony. This is hey Joe guys, Russo. You? We directed the movie. Yes, welcome. Congratulations to you guys. It's pretty amazing. Uh, Enjoy tonight. Oh my gosh, congratulations. I'll come back. I'll come back. As I've said before, we'll all be working for you someday. There are so many resources available. Get online, you see what's out there, and you take advantage of the mentors that are available to you. Try a lot of different things. Take different courses, try internships. You have to follow your passions. There's such a need for women in technology, young women. They have the ability, they have the foresight, they have the intelligence. They can be whatever they want to be. Congratulations. Thank you, very proud of you. You're the future, you know that, right?
Hi, my name is Victoria Alonso, executive producer of Captain America Civil War. We were delighted to have five incredibly intelligent women come to LA and be a part of our contest. We want to say thank you to all of them and announce our winner. Our winner is Maya Dua. There were so many amazing girls this weekend and I couldn't ask for a better experience to share with them. These girls could really change the world. There is nothing better than seeing young women who are excited about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But when they're inspired by storytelling like the Marvel movies, that's the best combination that I can think of. I would like to thank Marvel and Disney for allowing us to show our love for STEM on such a big scale. Thank you so much. If I had one piece of advice that I could give you for the future, do not let them tell you who you are. Just keep on at it. It will happen.